ProPresenter allows you to use any live video source that's connected to your computer. However, these sources can have latency or delay issues where the video will be delayed with FireWire connected sources being the most delayed. Now this is a inexpensive and easy way to get a camera on your screen, but because of these delay issues, it's not recommended as a long-term solution. If you're looking for a long-term solution, invest into a dedicated hardware video switcher that you can send ProPresenter into as well as your live video sources and then mix them together inside the switcher. Now that we understand that, let's look at how live video works inside ProPresenter. Now the first thing we need to do is tell ProPresenter where to find our live video feed. So we're going to go to ProPresenter, Preferences, then under the Live Video tab we'll see that we can set our video device. So I'm going to set this here. I don't really need to use the audio device because we're going to use our audio through like a soundboard and we're only going to worry about the video inside ProPresenter. So I can close this out. Now I can go up to Actions and down to Live Video. This will start my live video, so hello, here I am. You can see the green screen behind me. You can see how it's not totally in sync and my voice isn't totally matching up, but now I can click on some slides here and you'll see that I can display slide content right over top of this live video. If I wanna clear any of this all out, I can just hit the clear all button. Now the other way that you can trigger live video to be shown is through the cue palette. So if I go to view, cue palette, you'll see that we have a cue here for live video. So I can drop this onto my first slide of this song and I can go and set again my video device and hit done. The other thing I can do is let's say we're only gonna use live video for this one song, I can scroll down and on the last slide I can add a clear live cue. So I can drop that on there and now it will clear out my live video on the last slide. So again, we'll click on this. It's gonna start up my video and we'll see my live video playing back here. Now I can click on some slides and if I scroll down to the bottom here, we can click on the second to last and now the last slide and it's gonna clear everything out. Well, now that you can see how live video works inside ProPresenter, you can weigh the options and see what's best for your situation. Now, if you're leaning towards going with a hardware video switcher, I would recommend looking at the Alpha Key module, which will allow you to send out pre-keyed text that you can lay over top of your video sources inside your video switcher. You can find out more about the Alpha Key module at renewedvision.com.